Everything takes time to grow, no matter if it's during the warm summer months or even during the cold winter ones. Over the last few years, we've planted trees around Heritage House, and now Tom is outside taking care of our apple and cherry trees. Well, welcome back, everyone. We're out here at the trees. This is our cherry tree from last year. Put down some uh, tree and shrub dew. Justin, why are we doing this? I mean, the tree looks great. Yeah, I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Things are going well, but just keep in mind, you know, this this will have food in there for the roots. You know, you're feeding the soil, which will feed the roots. Yep. So this will have gypsum in there, which is calcium, sulfur. This will have Tennessee brown rock in there, which is a mineral. Um, there's over 50 different minerals in Tennessee Brown Rock. We put that in there. That helps with the phosphorus. Of course, the trees love phosphorus. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do when you put this down is just like we're doing, kind of like a mulch, and then think of the drip line of the tree being right here. Yeah. Okay. You'd want to go out past it, maybe a foot, because think of them roots. They're going to continue to get bigger underneath there, and you want to just keep ahead of it so you can keep feeding it so it can produce the fruit that we're looking for. Right. Now, we, we did use it initially when we planted the tree, too, so why do we have to keep on putting out more and more? Yep. Just like your teenage child, you know, they're going to want to eat and keep getting bigger. It's the same thing with the tree. Same thing with what we're doing here. Okay. You know, so we're just going to feed it along the way. And we keep it underneath this uh, bump right here, right? The yep. Right at the, yep. Right at the root of the tree or the base of the tree. And then just all out like that. And you can put it on a couple inches thick and then just water it in. And then over at the apple tree, we can show you how to do it uh, along with the fruit blaster that we have over there. All right, let's go check it out. All right. Justin, here we go. Apple tree. Yeah. Uh, we've had it, what, about three or four years now. It looks pretty good, growing nicely. What's the next step to keep it growing nicely? Yeah, so the just like we did uh, earlier with the cherry tree there, we'd like to put the tree and shrub around the bottom. Okay. Remember, you know, the roots are actually what's doing all the work down there and feeding the plant from the bottom up. Right. But the next step we can do after the tree and shrub, we can use the um, fruit blaster. So there's fulvic acid in there, it's liquid carbon, there's kelp in there. You know, it's organic, the kelp is, so it helps bring that immunity up and that plant structure up. Yep. So then uh, there's also the nutrient in there. So when you spray this, um, you want to make sure that you use the, like a hose on the end of it. Right. There's a knob on this side you turn on, and then you would just wave this back and forth as you would to crisscross it and feed the leaves and the tree more so than using it for a watering All right, tool. so you don't spray it any one spot any length of time? No. And most, what, a spray once or twice, and that's it? Yep, once or twice, every three to four weeks, and just kind of, like I said, crisscross it through, and then make sure that you're giving that nutrient to the leaves to help bring that uh, structure and that health of the plant up. And then I guess that's one key thing where we care about here, the health of them, because over the last couple of years, we've had beetle issues every, call it, midsummer, so I got a couple of holes here and there. And uh, this year, Justin, we've been trying to take care of it with some small bags of beetle bags. You got us a big one this year. Yeah, yeah, I love this. I use this at my own house. Uh, so the, it's an organic way, so you don't have to spray and kill things with chemicals. Right. You can actually use this and it'll capture them without using chemicals, so you're not spraying what you're essentially eating or your children are eating. Yeah, that's a big key thing for us too. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so the apple tree looking really good this year. We're hoping for the flowers looking great too. We'll head them to them later on next week.